Hello and uh, welcome my friends to another week of Sunday School. Uh, this week we are uh, going to be hearing a story about uh, the Israelites who were in slavery. Um, and so again we're going to have a story about promise. You know we've had uh, a lot of promises from God over the last few weeks. Uh, first that promise in the form of the rainbow to uh, Noah and his family. Uh, and then there was the promise to Abraham about uh, how he was going to have uh, a whole lot of descendants, right? A lot of a lot of children. Um, and uh, so this week we're going to have another promise from God, um, and and we'll get to that in a, in a couple of minutes. Uh, before we do, I wanted to um, kind of think about: Have you ever used Play-Doh? It's something I used to play with quite a bit when I was a kid. Uh, you can make all kinds of different things out of it. Um, uh, in particular, I'm wondering if you know how to make a brick out of Play-Doh. And if you do, how many bricks do you think you could make in five minutes? Do you think you could make maybe five bricks in five minutes? I think that's probably um, pretty reasonable to try to get five bricks done in five minutes. But what if um, I just gave you the ingredients and you had to make your own Play-Doh first and then make the five bricks? Could you still do that in five minutes? That'd be a lot tougher, and I don't know if that's possible. And that's um, a little bit like our story today is going to be, um, where the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Um, slaves, you know, I'm sure you probably know this, but slaves are people that have to do work for somebody, uh, and they don't get paid for it. And a lot of times um, the bosses can be really mean. Um, they might whip the workers to get them to work harder. Um, so Today's story, um, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt, and, um, and they weren't very happy. You know, as you can imagine, they, they weren't very happy to be doing all this hard work. Um, and so they were really sad, and they, they cried out to God, and God heard them, and, and God was sad too with, about their situation. So God, um, God wanted his people to be free. He didn't want them to be slaves anymore, and that's where his promise comes in. Uh, so we're going to be reading a Bible story about how God promised um, to, to free his people from slavery. Uh, before we get to our story, will you please pray with me? Dear God, thank you for your many, many promises. Not only for making the promises, but we thank you for keeping your promises. Continue to be with us. Help us to deal with the things that make us sad, the things that make us scared. Comfort us with a promise just like you comforted the Israelites in Egypt. Be with us today as we explore this story about um, your people and how you kept your promise to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so uh, we are going to take a look at our story, and as we go through it, it's, it's kind of a shorter story today, um, but I want you to think about how each of the characters might have been feeling as we go through the story, and I'll, I'll put the, the pages up here on the screen. Right here. All right, Free from Slavery is the, the title. All right, and it goes like this. When Jesus was alive, or sorry, excuse me, when Moses was alive, the Hebrew people were also called Israelites. Many Israelites were slaves in Egypt. Moses and his brother Aaron were their leaders and went to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. They said, Our God says, Let my people go. I wonder how that felt to be standing in front of Pharaoh. I bet they were a little nervous. I don't believe in your God shouted Pharaoh. Now get back to work. Ooh, hearing this, God said to Moses in a thundering voice, watch what I will do to Pharaoh. He will let my people go. Tell my people, I will free you all and bring you back to the land I promised Abraham. Because they had been slaves for so long, it was hard for the people to believe Moses. So God ordered again, Tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Moses worried that Pharaoh might not listen to him, but Moses did what God said. 
And that, that is our story for this morning. Um, so can you think about how do those people feel in that story? Think about Moses having to go in front of the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. That was kind of scary. And think about um, how Pharaoh was about. Seems like he was pretty angry. Stop bugging me. I don't believe in your God. Go away. Go back to work. Okay. And uh, so in, in this story, there's a lot of a lot of things happen. A lot of people who are scared. A lot of people who are angry. A lot of people who are sad. And um, if you were to read this from the, the full Bible, the full version of this story, uh, you would see that it's much longer. And there's this back and forth between Pharaoh and Moses. Um, and, and Pharaoh got so angry with Moses that he forced the Israelites to make bricks without straw. Normally they would, they would have mud and straw and all of that would go into the bricks. But uh, Pharaoh got angry and said, I'm not going to give you the straw. I'm not going to give you what you need to make the bricks. You have to go get your own straw. But you also have to keep up the work. You can't slack off. You can't drop off your production. You have to keep working. So kind of like uh, the Play-Doh that we were talking about a couple of minutes ago. Um, it, it'd be kind of like if I just gave you the ingredients for Play-Doh instead of giving you the Play-Doh itself to make those bricks. That's what Pharaoh did uh, to the Israelites when he got angry with them. He took away their ingredients and told them they had to go fetch it themselves. And they still had to get all the work done at the same speed. So Pharaoh was not a very nice guy. All right. Uh, so that is our story. And now we're going to take a look at uh, the leaflet for today. And so if you if you got a copy of the leaflet, great. If you didn't, that's OK, too. Um, you could do this same activity with just a plain piece of uh, printer paper probably would work the best. Um, and so on, on the page, if you have the page, this is what it looks like. Um, and, then, and you see the, a picture of two different bricks on there. Uh, and it says, the Israelites made bricks of mud and straw, but also tears of sadness. So, um, you know, as they were building those bricks, and they're feeling that sadness. I'm sure they cried tears into their, into their mud and into their mix. Um, and there was probably sweat and, and maybe some blood and, you know, just there's a lot of hard work that went into making these bricks. Um, so what I want you to do is um, if you if you have the leaflet, you've got the, the image of the bricks already. If you just have a plain piece of paper, um, why don't you draw two rectangles? Okay, So it'll look like this when you're done. But draw a rectangle here and a rectangle here to look like bricks. And then on this side, I want you to draw a picture of the Israelites making the bricks and feeling sad. Okay, so that's that's the first one, a picture of the Israelites. And then on this side, I want you to draw a picture of a time when you felt sad. Okay, or or, or maybe you felt scared. So um, go ahead and pause the video and take a couple minutes to draw those pictures. A picture of the Israelites uh, feeling sad, and then a picture of you when you were sad or scared. Okay, so now that you are done with that picture, um, I want you to, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna work on the back side of that same piece of paper, okay? Um, because I want you to think for a second about that picture that you drew. Uh, remember how sad you were in, in that moment, in that picture that you drew of yourself? <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna flip it over, flip over that picture, and um, if you have the leaflet, it looks like this. <clears throat> but if you have uh, just plain piece of paper, it should be the, the blank side now, okay? And what I want you to do is to draw or trace your hand on the paper. My hands would be pretty big to, to do this activity, but yours will be smaller. So um, I want you to trace your hand. And if you need help from an adult or um, a brother or sister or somebody, that, that's okay. Too. Um, but trace your hand here and your other hand here. So your hands are kind of, it'll look kind of like this uh, when you're done, okay? So draw, go ahead and trace both hands, okay? Um, and uh, when you're done with that part, come on back to the video. So go ahead and pause this, trace your two hands, and then come back to the video, okay? All right, so now uh, you've got your two hands drawn on there. And what I want you to do is to fold it in half, okay, like this. 
Okay, and then you're going to fold it in half again. Okay, All right. Then open it back up. Now you've got those creases there. And if you have the leaflet, you'll see there's some, some black lines right here, uh, maybe an inch or so long. Uh, there's three on this side and three on this side. Uh, go ahead and cut those. And uh, this should work just fine on your, uh, if you're working with plain piece of paper too. Just cut not too far, maybe an inch, inch and a half um, on each of these lines on both sides. Uh, then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fold this up like a brick. Okay, so you, you got a nice rectangle here. And when you look inside your brick, you'll notice that all of your sadness is, is wrapped up in your brick. Just like the Israelites and their sadness and their tears went into their bricks, your sadness is now inside this brick. Okay, and uh, what you can do now is uh, you might need some tape. You're going to uh, take that just like this, and then you'll be able to fold the flaps that you just cut, fold them in, and it'll close in the brick. Okay, like this. Do that on both ends. And now, when you look at your, your brick, you'll see that it looks like your hands, or there's a set of hands carrying this brick. And so you can imagine that those hands on the outside are God's hands holding your sadness and carrying your sadness. Okay. Or you could also um, maybe think of um, those being like your hands helping to carry other people's sadness. So when you, when you see somebody who's sad or scared and you help them out, that's kind of like you carrying that brick of their sadness, okay? So um, either way, I think that's a really good visual. That now you've got this brick that contains your sadness and God's hands are there to carry you and to help you through, okay? So uh, hang on to that brick. I think that's a great reminder of how God um, takes care of us. All right. Um, okay, so let us, um, I think, take a look at uh, the faith on the go section. And so if you did this right, you should still be able to see, if you have the, if you have the leaflet, uh, the faith on the go things right here. If you don't have it, that's okay. I'm going to read them for you right now. All right. So remember, uh, the faith on the go um, these are some ideas that you can do uh, throughout the week that will help remind you of this story, the story of God's promise and how God kept his promise to be there for his people and to help them with their sadness, to help them to break free from slavery. Okay, so um, here's idea number one. Make a card to send to someone who is lonely or sad. So if you know somebody, um, maybe a neighbor who lives on their own, um, or if you have a family member who lives on their own who might be lonely or sad, but go ahead and write them a letter or, or write them a card and, and mail it to them. That'd, that'd be a great way uh, to help them feel, feel better, okay? Idea number two, make bricks out of clay or Play-Doh and tell the story of Moses to your family. So you can get out your Play-Doh and make your bricks and use that as a prop to tell the story about the Israelites and Moses, okay? Idea number three, sing, he's got the whole world in his hands. I bet you know that one. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 Uh, and that's just a reminder of how God carries us in our times of um, sadness and being scared. Um, so if you know that song, great. Um, if you know it a little bit, but you're not sure about the verses, go ahead and make your own verses. Um, see if we can come up with some verses that fit with our story that go into that song. And then idea number four is to build a block wall and say a prayer with every block. So maybe if you have some Legos uh, or something like that, or if you have wood building blocks uh, in your toy box, maybe you get those out and, and try to build a wall with them. And as you put each block into place, uh, say a little prayer, uh, maybe a prayer for a friend, a family member, um, or somebody that you know that is sad. Okay? So those are those are some really cool ideas, I think. Uh, hopefully one of those ideas will work for you. If you try one of those ideas, um, I would love to hear how it goes. Um, and so if you would, maybe you can talk to mom, your mom or dad, and um, they can help you write me an email and let me know how that activity went for you. Okay. 
Well, my friends, we have reached the end of our Sunday School time for today. And I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to, uh, to be here with me and to dive into the story about uh, Moses and the Israelites and God's promise to free them from slavery and free them from sadness. Um, I hope that you will remember that if you are sad this week, or if you see people who are sad this week, remember that God is with you and God is with them. Okay, and hopefully you will find some comfort and some joy in that. Okay, and remember that you are able to bring God's love to people. Okay, so if you see somebody who is really needing some love uh, from God, you you have the ability to do that with your own two hands. Okay, so I encourage you to do that. Um, let us close with a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you for your promises. Thank you for people like Moses who are brave and who bring your promise to the people and do uh, work to free people and to make them know your joy and your love. Help us to have that kind of courage. Help us to help people who are feeling sad. Help us to show your love to all people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, um, I wanted to point out a couple of fun things for you. Um, there's a coloring page, there is uh, an activity page, and uh, there's a family page all located on our Sunday School web page. And so I invite you to go there, um, ask mom or dad or somebody to print those off for you and, and have some fun with those. The family page is a really great opportunity for you to talk to your parents about the story and do some other fun crafts and activities with them uh, to help you remember this story this week, okay? Uh, so I hope that you are all well. Uh, I know we've got uh, a little break from school coming up soon with MEA on Thursday and Friday this week. I hope that you all enjoy the time off from school and that you are all well. Remember, my friends, that God loves you, and so do I.